Welcome to Budapest. You are in the heart of Central Europe and at the site of the most photographed building in all of Hungary, the Parliament. I am so excited to take you guys to Central Hall Market in Budapest. This market is amazing, loaded with merchants, textiles, food. It is a complete multicultural Hungarian adventure. Let's go in. I'm definitely on a mission to get Hungarian sweet paprika and definitely something to eat. Look at this. These are actually pretty cool. I like them. Well, I didn't have to go far to find the paprika. <laughs> Whoa, oh, sausage. <laughs> this is all Hungarian sausage. All cured, salt cured, dried sausage. So like a veal, similar mm -hmm. to what we saw in Vienna, veal sausages. Here's more of the blood. Uh -huh. Do you want to try something fun? Uh-huh, I do. <laughs> what is this? The Kirali Hushat? Ah. Oh, from the... Hedges. Really? The brain? Oh, no. We'll try a slice. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That was not a convincing look. Is it good? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> brain, gelatin. If it wasn't good, they wouldn't make it, right? Is there anything else authentically Hungarian that we should try? Okay. Uh, we have um, dry um, pig skin. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Wow, so that's a great way to wow, slice and serve. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at the clothing up there. Look around. Three floors of amazing stands. Is this, this a typical for a, for a table? For a table? Tablecloth? Beautiful. That's beautiful, yeah. Okay, I want one. <laughs> I want one. I could use this. I've got to get out of here before I buy everything. I'm not even to lunch yet. Holy moly. Well, I have to have one of those. <laughs> that looks good, too. Is that me? I'm coming. I'm the guy with all the food and the huge appetite. <laughs> she ordered all this food. It's all hers. <laughs> After an intense day of shopping at the Central Market Hall, we are finally about to have incredible authentic Hungarian food, a smorgasbord, if you will. And we are going to start first with some beer. However, we're learning how to say cheers in Hungarian and... No. Okay, you can give, you <laughs> and can we have, we have someone me. that's shy, but how do you say? You show come so. So, please. Uh, when we say cheers, we say Egészségedre. Egészségedre. Right? Here's the hint. Here's the hint. Egészségedre. Together at the same time. Egészségedre. Oh yeah, it's terrible. Egészségedre. Cheers. Thank you. That's nice. Here. Cheers. Egészségedre. Wow, <laughs> goulash in Budapest. We have some have sauerkraut bread? topped with more goulash. I'm good on the bread. Okay. I want to get right into this kraut. The Hungarian uh, dried sausage here. <laughs> Watch out, Mr. Mm. Pritchik. This is what caught my eye immediately when I came up to the food stand here in the hall. This enormously delicious brown, um, chicken and cauliflower dish. I have no idea. I've never had anything like this before in my life. Wow. So that was very easy to cut through. Oh my God, it's a whole cauliflower. Oh wow, look at that. So it's a whole f uh, head here of cauliflower. And the chicken's on the bottom. Is and the there? chicken yeah. is on the bottom. Yeah. What's a cauliflower? <laughs> is it good? 
Yeah, it's really good. I'll give you something in a little bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Andrashi Avenue in Budapest is the equivalent to the Champs-Élysées in Paris. This is where you go to shop for some of the name brand things if you're looking for that when you're traveling here in Budapest. So straight ahead is Langos Papa right here where I had the most wonderful Langos which was brought here from the Turks. It's basically fried dough, typical now Hungarian, and we're gonna have that with chicken paprikash. Hello. Mm. Wow. What the heck? Oh. Thank you very much. This is called the happy dance because I am very happy. Look at how soft and doughy. Now again, this is traditional street food that you'll find here in Budapest and, and through Hungary. Um, but in Lagmos Papa, they actually, it's sit down, which I think is great because this is best enjoyed with it being so big as it is, sitting down. And everything here homemade. Mm. Look at how that rips apart. Look at that. It's out of control good. This is more than a meal. This is an experience. You are now at Fisherman's Bastion in Budapest on the Buda side of the Danube River. And I promise you are gonna love what is the most spectacular view in all of Budapest from Fisherman's Bastion. Let's take a look. Look at these spectacular buildings. St. Stephen's Basilica, the Parliament, and of course, the infamous Chain Bridge. So this is the perfect spot to not only enjoy a drink, and when you come to Budapest, you have to come here to Fisherman's Bastion to this really cute cafe, sitting here, taking in the view, and if you go to the Central Market Hall like we did, you can bring your eats and eat them here. Sausage, sausage, Goose. Oh. <laughs> brain, pork. Mm. So good. This is the pork. Oh. Look at that. Mm. Hungarian good. fried chicken. Hungarian fried chicken. Whoa! Oh. What's in? What is that? Well, my dear, um, that's brain. Maybe this is one of those things we don't talk about. I'm thinking that might be better not to talk and just do. Oh, no. Whoa! Now, know. let me just tell you, it's just gelatin, and it's but, just... Uh, Listen, you've got one under all that hair, so... I have a big one, too. Big brain. That, I, I might gag. <laughs> oh. This is the brain. This is, you know... Okay, and so it looks like pork. Oh, now the, see, that's not okay. It's just gelatin. Don't... No. I, <laughs> Wait. No. This is when um, we say <laughs> what? Ladies first. <laughs> oh, don't can I feed, feed you? No, can you I can't feed, you feed it to me. Oh, I can't I want, do it. Do it. I'm gonna get some pepper in there. Oh. Just do it. Let's do it and wash it down. You might want that spritz. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I think I'm pretty full. <laughs> oh.
It's been an unbelievable day in Budapest, and it's only getting better. The sun is setting. We're in a quad loaded with people enjoying what Budapest has to offer, which is real experiences. The energy is so unbelievable. It's all about being outdoors in Europe, and the Budapestians take it to that level. Are you ready to do this? Are you scared? <laughs> Let's go up top and see what Budapest looks like from up above. Woo! Look at that! A lot of the cities in Europe uh, have these Ferris wheels. Uh, London has an eye, obviously Budapest here has an eye, Paris has a Ferris wheel. One of the uh, best things to do when you come to a city, if you want to actually check it out from up above, is to hit a rooftop bar or a Ferris wheel. And do not forget to bring your Dramamine, because I'm getting a little seasick. <laughs> Can I say seasick? You only go around once, right? I hope. No. Shit, all this rocking. Why is ours rocking so much? I'm over the Budapest eye. <laughs> I don't like airplanes. That does not stop me from traveling. But it's now the fifth time I've gone around and seen the skyline of Budapest. Which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. But. <laughs> but I'm ready to park. Get me out of here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, that was an experience. Oh boy. Thank you. Dinner tonight is at Nanshineni. We're gonna have authentic Hungarian cuisine right where the locals live, right where the locals work, we're getting the real deal tonight, and so are you. Let's try it. Hello. This is perfect. One of the things I'm interested in learning a little bit more about is the history to the restaurant. Is there, is there a story here? Yes, of course. My father started this restaurant in 1980. He started with a with only three people, because my father was the waiter, my mother was uh, behind the bar, and, and there was one cook. <laughs> <laughs> and now we are 40, around 40. Wow. Here we serve traditional Hungarian okay. dishes, and on our seasonal offer, we have international dishes also, depending the season. Mm -hmm. Our soups have arrived, they look fantastic. Awesome bean soup. <laughs> bean soup, which is quintessential Hungarian. And I got the green pea soup. Again, another traditional Hungarian dish. Mm. So let me cut into this pork knuckle here. Oh, wow. It's so tender. It falls right off the bone. Yes. Wow. Look at that. That is amazing. And then you eat it with the skin, right? Yes, you can. It depends on your... How do you do it? Do you like the skin? Uh, no, because I don't eat meat. <laughs> <laughs> I am a vegetarian. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's... Well, I am not. So let's give this a whirl. <laughs> I know maybe it's strange, but... <laughs> There's no vegetarian here. <laughs> Delicious. So, Fia, what do we have here? Here we have the, it's a very traditional Hungarian ragu of catfish oh. with red pepper sauce. Mm -hmm. And uh, we put also sour cream. Wow. And, and as a side, we have these uh, pasta squares with uh, ha this Hungarian cottage cheese. That's oh, also yeah. a Hungarian specialty. Wow. Look at the noodle. Yeah, I know. Wow. It's very rich. You have the wonderful sweet paprika, right? 
the Hungarian sweet paprika, the fish is very delicate, broken up into these little pieces with parsley, right? Is it green parsley? Yes. That's awesome. So good. And with the noodle? Mm. Delish. <laughs> How do you say bon appetit in Hungarian? It's not easy. Jó étvágyat. Jó étvágyat. Jó is good. Jó? Étvágyat. 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 Yes. <laughs> Jó not easy. Étvágyat. <laughs> Jó étvágyat. <laughs> here at High Note Sky Bar in Budapest on the Pest side. It has the most amazing rooftop and the best view in the entire city and you're going to see it. Wow. Look at this view. This is why you come to High Note Sky Bar for the absolute best view in all of Budapest. Look at that. Wow. St. Stephen's Basilica. So we are gonna have awesome cocktails. We are gonna have my personal, which I think is gonna be a favorite, is gonna be an espresso martini-like cocktail called the Coffee Break. Let's do this. Can I smell? Yeah, of course. Wow, coffee and rum. It's quite crazy, right? Please take the sugar, okay. take the bottle. Okay. And you have just to pour until the top? top. Yes. Like so? Yeah, and just inside. All right. Quite good, very good, very good. Okay, we are putting away this one. Now, uh, do you know what is Pedro Jimenez? This no. Is a, this is a sweet cherry from uh, Spain. It's uh, It's like the national sweet wine of Spain. Let me do this like a bartender does, right over the glass, right? It's a little too much. I'll, do, I'll only do a little bit. Good? Black walnut bitter. Black walnut bitter. Black walnut bitter. One, two. Perfect. Good? Yeah, it's perfect. And now we are using one of my favorite ingredients, which is, which is the absinthe. Absinthe. Oh, absinthe. You, you have to do the same, just putting two. Okay. And one more, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, that's it, that's it, very nice. I'm using an almond uh, foam. Ooh, almond cream, whipped cream. Yeah, you can say whipped cream, but it doesn't contain any lactose, because I'm making with uh, simple, with sugar syrup uh -huh. actually, which is uh, almond syrup. Okay. Uh, and water, and uh, egg white, and that's it. Oh, wow. That's it. You have to put like in this way on, on the top of the drink. Wow, that is so beautiful. Okay. If you look to it, it's, it's very, very similar to a, to an Irish coffee. It looks basically. like meringue because yeah, of the egg yeah. white. Yeah, yeah. And uh, now we are van olyan lang ami működik. I would call this the tuxedo because of the black and the white. Beautiful. Ooh. Burning the top. Wow. Just when I thought this couldn't get better. It's, it's egg white, so we burn it. It's going to be brown. Why it's important? Now? Of course, the beans. The coffee beans. Yeah, like an espresso martini. Cocoa powder. Oh, wow. Cocoa powder, just, just a little like this. So Look at so that beautiful line. So you make it look so the last, easy. The last touch is... Uh, is a spray. Okay. Of. Inside we have absinthe. Again. Absinthe. So we just make like a spray like this, and uh, we have this absinthe smell. And there. you came up with this drink. Absolutely, my drink. Yes. Wow. Very good. Very good. The coffee is rich. The absinthe gives it that very wonderful anise licorice edge to it. Uh, the toastiness, it's very complex. I love it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Peter. My pleasure. Egészségedre. Egészségedre. <laughs>